hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i will be from the title of this video and uh, everything you guys uh, <laughs> i'm so excited making this video because it's long overdue and uh, the fact that the whole recent happenings around the world and basically everything going on around the world and you just need to sit back and just think oh my god what's happening like seriously this is just like a time of reflection to a lot of people especially me and i just found out lately that this whole thing has taught a lot of us big lessons you know they will be sharing with you what i've learned from this isolation quarantine season <laughs> what i've learned so far as a christian woman and uh, as a social media person i'm literally on all my i'm literally active on all my social media accounts and uh, as also a nigerian you know <laughs> Firstly, I want to bless, bless God for the gift of life. Oh my God, if Psalm 91 is a business venture, Psalm 91 would have blew by now. Everybody now goes back to reading Psalm 91. Everybody now remembers there's a chapter called Psalm 91 in the Bible. Before now, people don't really, they just say it, uh, you know, they just say it, they don't really even know where, what Psalm 91 is all about. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that this whole isolation thing has made everybody closer to god knowing that this life was just like a pencil in the hands of the creator and uh, knowing that god is the ultimate like by now you should understand that science oh, is no words of a science government everything has tried everything they've tried everything with this angle but yet no solution the solution still lies on god almighty this whole thing has made people understand that it's god in heaven that watches over men praise god made people actually draw close to god okay let me personalize it now because i don't know what other people i don't know what the isolation of this quarantine season has taught you particularly but personally and my family it has taught me uh, this closeness with god right now i i pray for three hours stretch four hours stretch like it's not like i want to win an award but before now i find out that if i want to do midnight i need to just do 31 hour because i need to wake up in the morning to do school run or to go to work but right now i just pray and uh, whenever i'm tired i keep praying like it actually made my prayer life improved as talk i'm talking of the spiritual aspect of it and I, it has made me like knowing that god before now, i know god is ultimate definitely god is the 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 very head i have breathed but it has also made me know that god this life is nothing that god is just god and there's nothing else to do but to just get closer to god and the whole thing has also improved people's personal hygiene before now a lot of people know about washing their hands or with soap and water and all those things but now like even our kids are so used to it my son is so used to washing his hands with soap and water for the longest time like he stays in the bathroom his own is even is no longer 20 seconds it's 20 minutes so most times I even had to chase him out of the bathroom before now we know these things but most times because of maybe laziness and nonchalant attitude we just come back from anywhere we are coming back from and uh, we most people the breastfeeding mother just come back from the market and just unzip their clothes and start breastfeeding their children before now they don't know what they they don't most of them i've seen i'm not saying out of something i don't know some of them cannot even have the hygiene to wash off some parts of their boobs and like at least keep clean before feeding their babies but at least now a lot of people are aware that if you're coming back from anywhere just it's just a nurse already to firstly wash your hands do what we need to do before touching anything in the house so it's really helping our hygiene especially for our young the younger generation growing with it right now also in those recent times i read yesterday or two days ago that zoom zoom used to have either two thousand or one thousand the usage of zoom grew from 2000 to 200 from 2000 to how many millions and if i find out the accurate figure i'm going to leave it in the screen and a lot of online businesses oh my god especially those of us that does you know i do a lot of online business we charge and get paid long reach and some other businesses i do online the businesses as 
<laughs> oh my god like most times i can't even sleep at night a lot of things happening online like people don't sleep so they just want to do anything their online courses increase they give you free online course of course and you actually think this is free at the end of the day they would ask you to pay that 200 dollars 300 dollars to get a certificate and for kind of like you're done with this online course you might say oh what is 200 dollars to collect my certificate you definitely pay <laughs> There is a strategies involved. So I need you to leave in the comment section what have you learned from this isolation period. Don't make this, don't allow this period to just I know everybody is praying for this period, this whole thing to end. Definitely. We are hoping and praying it will end soon. But before this period end, find it find time to find something you achieve during this period if you're growing your brand on social media find time to grow your brand on social on your brand on social media if you're a youtuber and uh, you're finding it difficult to be consistent you'll be finding it difficult to post uh, videos consistently find out time to post videos consistently find time to post videos constantly consistently at least grow that or uh, grow it for this couple of time that everybody is at home and a lot of people uh, and i find that also that a lot of people are now coming to youtube a lot of people want to be youtuber especially those people a lot of new youtubers are coming into the communities so a lot of things has really changed us for weeks and a lot of businesses grew like a lot of business are actually making millions of dollars in this time if you know businesses that are making billions of dollars i need to leave it in the comment section let us all know and let's educate ourselves you understand so i'm just here to make those videos about things I've, I've learned and also find i also learned like seriously guys i also learned this period that family is everything <laughs> hey you guys i will never i've never been playing with my family but now like family your spouse if you're not married your siblings if you have friends that stick closer to like that than a sister like your see your friend too oh my god you hold them like this because right now is you and your family no other person you can't move nowhere you can't move an inch you can't do anything is you and your husband so if this is the time if you're not marrying the man of your dream like you're just saying why am i stuck at home with this demon <laughs> god have mess i'm sorry to say but this is the time that you're like oh my god what have i ended up if you're having marriages marriage are having issues now and no because some persons have issues and they just sort it out and go about their businesses but now you're living in the house and you're not going anywhere so where do you want to go <laughs> it's not funny but at the same time the marriages that has become very intimate very close that people that just know that family that people that just know right now that family is actually everything in this kind of time family is not everything you love is everything right now we all now understand that the church is not the building the church is me and you the church is you and you have to keep your body as a temple of the lord you understand now you now understand that you are the church you have to you know that there's no pastor that is here in your family there's nobody that's around to pray for you there's no altar to run to you are the altar you are that church you and god now you and god face each other it's not that you know that your nails are working you have to kneel down and pray to God and you know that God will answer you before now everybody just hide at the back of the church or hide in the building like church uh, you know but now you have to pray for God to forgive your sin you have to do the prayers yourself that people don't get I think this isolation period has made a lot of people also get closer to God and um, giving a lot of people insight about God about who God is and uh, that God is just the ultimate I'm so excited today you know why because the, the fact that we are living the fact that we are alive the fact you're alive watching this video is a thing of joy knowing the numbers and thousands of people that are no more in just this recent um four weeks or two three weeks period and it's just so heartbreaking so this is time for us to just appreciate god anywhere you are i want you to if you're a christian if you're watching me i want you to open your bible to the book of psalm 91 you know on my channel i talk about faith 
this i talk about my lifestyle and i talk about a whole lot of things on this channel so today i want us to read psalm 91 together if you have your bible if you have your if you have your bible if you have your phone your bible is in your for your tab anything i need you to read to uh, to i need us to read the book of psalm 91 and just read this passage of the scripture with deep um with deep understanding of who God is, with deep understanding of the promises of God towards us as children, with deep of understanding of assurance that this is what God is saying to you and your family. And uh, please join me as we read Psalm 91. I'm reading from the King James Version on my phone. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. He says, Surely He shall deliver them from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. He says, His truth shall be our shield. That's my favorite scripture, you guys. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler that shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrows that flies by day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that lay waste at noonday a thousand shall fall at our side ten thousand at our right hand but it shall not come near us he said only with our eyes shall we see and behold the reward of the wicked because thou made the lord which is my refuge the most high your appetition he say, there shall no evil before thee, neither shall any place come near that do hell and praise God. He said, for he shall give us angels charge over thee to keep thee in all the ways. He said, they shall bear you up in their hands. That least thou shalt dash their foot against a stone, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the harder. The young lion, thee shall trample upon the feet. Glory to God, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. Praise God. He said, you shall call upon me. The Bible says, call upon me in the time of trouble, and I will answer you. Psalm 91, he said, you shall call upon me, and I will answer you. He said, I will be with him in trouble. Glory to God. I will deliver him and honor him. He said, with long life. Glory to God. With long life will I satisfy him, satisfy you, and show you is salvation glory to god in the highest and we thank you father we love you for your everlasting love for your steadfast love for your still great and precious promises for your promises towards us limitation 3 says if not for your mercies would have been consumed it says your compassion fails not we thank you for your compassion we thank you for your love we thank you for your mercies we thank you for your blood that speaking better things than the blood of abel we thank you for your mercies that new every morning we thank you for the provision we thank you for security thank you for my friends right now thank you for my family thank you for my loved ones thank you for my colleagues thank you for my sphere as many that are watching me right now i need you to father as many that are watching me right now father touch them minister to them is there anyone the press is anyone sick is anyone Feeling down whatsoever, Father, touch them. Let the Holy Spirit minister to them. Change their life. Renew their life. Help them, Lord. Uphold them with your right hand by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. Be thou exalted. Thank you for doing exceedingly, abundantly. Above all, we have to think according to the power at work in us. Blessed be your name. Thank you for answering our prayers. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you all for watching. If you find this video interesting, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up to this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. And I, until I come your way next time, God bless you and please stay home. Stay safe. Till I come your way next time. I love you all. I love you. I love you.